Grammy. This here is Gearbox Ranch Grammy. And I'm so glad you could join me in my milking parlor. Now I'm going to show you about milking. This is Precious. She is a great little milking goat. And my husband has put together a vacuum system. And I'm going to show you how it works. Now we'll give her some food. We're going to give her a little more. She's a good milker. There you go, Precious. <coughs> now, I get me a clean cloth, and I clean them udders real good because they've been sleeping all night, and I squeeze out just a little milk, just a little, just to take a plug. My girls don't stay with their babies at night after the babies are a month old, and I'm sure they're eating. We turn on our system and hook it up right like that. And you can see that milk flowing right through there. Now let me show you the rest of this. This is great. You can see right there how that milk is going in there. And if you look up there, that is a compressor, a um, vacuum pump from an old oxygen unit. My husband's cut a hole through this refrigerator. We keep it really cold. You can see right there where that milk is coming right into this jar. She's a great little milker. Now we have used uh, vacuum pumps that are made specifically for milking, but they make an awful lot of noise and they give off an awful lot of, uh, of oil and I'd just rather have something like this. I find this to be my best, best thing. Now when I milk my girls, I just keep an eye on it because even though they were away from their babies all night, I won't take them all the way down until them babies are three or four months old. And how I know it's time to completely wean them is every afternoon when I feed, I check the gutters. If they're full, they are already kicking them babies off. And you can see this was just a IV thing for an animal and we took the needle out my husband clipped these and made made me little caps for them clean up is a total total breeze I have my a hot water heater specifically for my milking parlor and we have it set at 200 degrees it only comes on just at the time I'm milking so that my water is perfect for cleaning the equipment. Now we'll take this, we take us a jar, we fill it with that hot water. I'll pop these off and clean it, stick it in there, and let the vacuum suck super hot water through it. Now once a week, on Monday... I will take and run hydrogen peroxide through this, let it set, and then run that hot water through it a couple of times to make sure I get anything that may be setting behind. We have used this same system when we first started and he built me with vacuum pumps. We were replacing those vacuum pumps every four to six months. They didn't last any time. But this system, which is just a vacuum pump from a broken air concentration, a breathing machine for people that need oxygen, I've had this now three years. Super easy, super easy to clean. You can see right here, he's just drilled me holes. One is for the milk, one is for the air. These pop off. I plug up these holes and I can take this whole system and put it in a good sterilizing water to make it better. It's one, it's, for me, it's been great. When we first started milking goats, I was milking 17 goats by hand. I had blisters on my hands and I had forearms that make Popeye 
jealous. So we got it going now. Here you go, Mama. Just a little bit more. We got it all going now. And pretty soon I'll finish milking this morning and put them babies back with their mama. I am so glad you joined me at my in my milking parlor. And remember, pray to your Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless everyone. One of you. I'll see you next week.